Hey guys, we're Gillian and Jeremy. After spending a year and a half exploring New Zealand, we have returned home to South East Queensland to start our new journey. Converting our 2001 Mitsubishi Rosa from a school bus into a home on wheels. Join us, our two children, Jed and Zakaya, and our two pups, Simba and Kiwi, as we show the highs and lows of making a house out of a bus. Hey guys, welcome in. Uh, we're in another lockdown, so we're sort of stretched with what we can and can't do uh, this week with the bus build, but we're um, going to do some inventive things, I guess, and just try and um, get done what we've started. So um, without any more, let's get cracking on another week of uh, our little bus builder. <laughs> What are we making, Jeremy? Um, this is like our little brekkie bench that we're going to try and put in. Got no real idea what I'm doing or what we're doing, but um, should work, hopefully, if I can get it to stay together. I hope these cuts are straighter than what my pencil markings were. Christ. I must have done them when I was drunk. <laughs> yeah, terrible. Alright, so we're going to decide on what side of this timber we want. So come over here, Jilly, and have a look. That's the first side. Yeah. I reckon it's um, a bit like orangey for what we're going for. Now I think the other side's a bit more oh. tricky. I like that side. What do you do reckon? You? Well, do you like the other side that's a bit more flowy? Well, I was going to say, I didn't really like the white bits on the other side. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> And these have got all the white bits on the side. Well... So this is a bit more like, I don't know, trendy garage style. And then I guess this side's a little more flowy. It is a bit more orange, but I think it looks a bit more natural and neutral. Okay, so you want to yeah. go with that then? Well, what do you reckon? We'll flip this piece of ply. The piece of ply, Are we just right. doing one or best out of three? Oh, just do one. I'll do a J for Jillian, because it's J, J, Jillian. And a G for and Jeremy. And I'll do a G for Jeremy, for J, J, Jeremy. Nah, well, either way, I'm going to fight it now. So which one do you want, <laughs> J or G? Well, I'm G, obviously. <laughs> Are you, Gillian? All right. Let's go for it, Gil. It's best out of three or just first just up? Just one, otherwise just it's one. a waste of time. All right, all right. <laughs> and it's windy, so this could really It's going to fly away. Yeah, I was J for Jill. <laughs> you said obviously <laughs> G for Gil. Flip it again, let me see it again. I just reckon it looks a bit more trendy. And to be honest with you, I don't like knots, but for some reason I really like this knot and the pattern around it looks cool. Right, I win. I won the flip, it was fair. All right, so let's damage this side. Tell us if you think we got it wrong or he got it wrong. <laughs> let me know that I got it right. All right. So we've got 1,200. So what's that? 1.2 meters. Should be 300 meters. every time. And just be on the outside of four. Yeah, that looks better, eh? Looks better, eh? Yeah, eh? Eh. And then that one needs to come into here. And then this piece needs to go on here. That didn't go too big, no, that's right. So that'll go in like so. That'll go in there. And then that'll sit like that. Cool? Cool, I'm gonna cool. fog it up. All right. I 
hope it's not going through. <laughs> yeah, that'd be unfortunate. I'm trying to be mindful of it. Hey, have you got a rag or something? Oh, I've got a baby wipe. A baby wipe. Could I have a baby wipe, please? It's got a little bit of goop on it. Oh, cool. Pull through with a wet towel. Towelette. Sakaya sided with him. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. I just think maybe it's a bit too extreme, a bit too funky. Oh, well, I reckon because it's a mis mismatch and it looks ridiculous that it'll suit the rest of the jobs we've done in the bus. <laughs> Got me in my own thing. <laughs> Damn it. Hey Zach, how are you doing? Oh no, what I say? What are you doing? You're like, what are you doing? She's, She's like, like, good. Good. <laughs> Damn it. Little shit got me. Oh. You right, big fella? No. And it's only gonna get worse in here, isn't it? <laughs> it's just gonna get tighter and tighter. Mm. Yeah, Lord, in is that just um, recording? Yeah, it is. Anyway, so we think we got it a bit, and um... he's just trying to make his chosen side look as good as mine. What else? Aren't you? No, I might have made a boo boo with the sander, but that's all right. The orby, I took a little bit of that off. I decided to take the sharp edge off the, the top, just around the corners here, and then I cut that with the, the um, jigsaw and then just sanded it back as well, just to make it less of a hip hazard. But um, yeah, I've taken a few, I don't know, marks in with the sander, so I'm just gonna have to get some different sandpaper and just give it a slight rub back and then just recoat it, I think. But other than that, it looks okay, I think. You like it? I don't know, do you? I do. I think it'll look alright once we've got a couple of little storage chair yeah, spots on Yeah, you guys there. can share on this. Oh, thanks mate. Oh, thanks, handsome. You're a good man. Do you like the um, brekkie bench? What brekkie bench? This one. Yeah, that one looks good. What do you think, Kiwi? Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> it's smooth. It's very smooth. Says you need the tools. She'll just um, once I file that back, should sit all right, hopefully. Something like that. Anyway, over the little battery box. Anyway, PPE at its finest. Anyway, we're gonna go and have some lunch. I think um, Jilly's knocking up a vegan dish today. I think so. Gonna try some vegan um, potato chips and um, tomato sauce. Are they? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Bit bottom? Hmm. She's uh, blowing her um, bra off today. Huh? <laughs> you reckon? Yeah, anyway, so. I don't even know what Jill's doing, but she's doing something with the vinyl. I've finished my little job. I think it looks cool. Sits in quite nicely. I'm just waiting on the um, the liquid nail stuff to dry up on the top there um, before I go placing it in on top of the batteries, but it looks pretty schmicko. And um, I still don't know what she's doing. But anyway, that's cool. Um, I know that she tidied up in here and it sort of looked really nice before. Yeah. 
Oh, it's the doors open and we got liquid nails and Stanley and, and a vacuum. Anyway. So Jeremy here's a bit of a one cut wonder and he's a bit disappointed he didn't um <laughs> record this. Got it actually. I just put a little pen mark on me piece of trim there and um and I thought, yeah that'll do. And I've cut it and I tell you what, if it could have got any closer. Thoughts? It's beautiful, mate. It is. Told you it blew a bra off. Is that windy? <laughs> Here you go. What am I doing? I don't know, but I'm doing this. Oh. So I'm making the food thing that's going to go in the cupboard here. And it's Ikea, so I'm out of here. It's Ikea, so we're going to just save ourselves the trouble and he's leaving. So, um, yeah, it is. It's like a little pull-out food rack that we're going to put in the cupboard. So, yeah, not very interesting, but I'll show you it when it's done. Actually, I might drill that shit in before you start. That what? Sorry? Oh, g'day. <laughs> might drill my stuff in before you start. I just wanted to see the door again. No, I can't because I went too high. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, no, I was just trying to make sure my cuts are straight first before I went and cut the right one. That looks nice, the trim just ran them up the wall. Happy with that? I thought so. <laughs> All right, Jill was Skyping about this Ikea stuff. She wanted to time herself. Pardon me, chewing on something, but. She wanted to time herself because she rings she's going to get it done quicker than the pros. So, with everything that we've done that doesn't fit, we've had to cut some holes. And it's taking forever. Where are um, What is she doing? Jill's in there now just sorting out Zakai for a lockdown fiddle lesson. The teacher's doing one on Zoom, so all um all go on that front but yeah we're just here trying to damage this poor old ikea shelf a little more we're doing a damn good job i was confident when i started it i was like we should time me this is going to be an easy one yeah and it's not the build that was the problem it was the fit in the cupboard yeah so anyway we got that we got this little frame thing had to cut a bit off that and move the doodads we got that in now um, we've had to cut a hole in the back because it was too big. Okay, so what I thought was going to be something that was really easy and straightforward took us a bit of a hot minute. Um, not sure how practical it is at this point because we have... So we've gotten it in and it works fine now. We do have a bit we need to bog up at the back, but it works fine. But the biggest um, tray from the bottom, so this one here, doesn't fit. So it's a bit too big. The others do, the others are perfect, but that one, if you get it in, it's not going to shut on it. So we're thinking we're just going to get maybe four or five of these, so we have just some big ones, because if anyone has any idea what this one would be for, let us know, because we've got no clue. I thought maybe drying some pasta, Jed reckons you stack your bowls, who knows. Um, but we are going to use this one, the one that's way too big. We're thinking of putting that one under the sink in the kitchen, and that can just hold all the cleaning products. Um, all of that so repurpose modify and repurpose that might have to be our little motto from this bus morning guys uh we're umming and ahhing about what to do today we we're gonna do the bathroom but i think we're just going to sand everything back and start painting um we're gonna try and get the ceiling done this part of the wall and get the first coat on the bunks over there so just some evidence of jeremy sweeping Bullshit. I do this all the time. What do you do? You just asked me if we have a broom in here. It's been in here for like three months. Yeah. Because I couldn't remember where I left it last. Oh, something sounds a little wet down here, Gillian. Just a little moist. Yeah, enthusiasm. 
This. I'm going to the pub. Oh no, it's locked down. Oh my god! <laughs> hey guys, back at the old bus. Uh, Tilly's just in there doing another, or finishing off the roof coating, and then I don't know, what are you doing? Another coat or go in the front of the bunks? Or um, going to the front of the bunks, and then I'll do my second coat. All right, sweet. Sounds good. Anyway, managed to uh, talk Jilly into giving me a bit of a ear lift, so I got that done. Hate hair on me uh, ears, but now it's just a mullet, so I might just grow it out. What do you reckon? Drop a comment below. That's a good way of interacting, isn't it? If you reckon I should keep it, give us a bit of love. If not, keep it to yourself, because I'll probably just grow it out. No, she's all good. Um, so anyway, what I'm planning on doing is... I put that little brekkie bar style thing in a couple of days back, this here. So um, just for support, I'm just going to make a leg to come down and fix it to the ground. Because uh, we plan on having like storage stool slash box seat thingamajiggies in there, like three or four of them. So I'm planning on I'll just put a leg here, which will then give me something to put a, like a strap or something straight across to there which will hold them in while we're traveling and whatnot but um and then obviously that'll hold more support there for when jed thinks it's fun to swing off the end of the table won't snap it off the wall because i've got something there so anyway let's get to it we're just packing up it was a bit of a cameraless day actually we're just um listening to listening listening to some tunes and just stuffing around i guess but we got little bits and pieces done like jilly's done the roof it's come up a million bucks it looks really nice um just starting that little bit now got the first coat of the bunk done oh yeah we'll go down and have a look at that jilly's got the bunk done first coat on here so maybe tomorrow depending um we'll come back give it a little sand and go again on it but looks looks nice and tidy um well cut some trim for up there and just boggy mcbog stuff so that looks good from afar like as you're coming in oh, didn't <laughs> mean afar. it like that but yeah as you're coming in it looks um looks like good me, having yeah. it yeah it doesn't look so ikea-ish now um and then yeah i just made that little support here for that just popped a chop down there that will paint up but should be good now but um yeah other than that I just got old paint of gel. She's almost emptied that tray, so I'd say once she's done that, we'll just tidy up and um, and that'll do us for the day, for another day, and then we'll just decide what we're going to do tomorrow. Yeah, we were just saying today that it probably would have taken us a lot less time to have built the cupboard ourselves. Yeah, and I lost a so. lot less heartbreak too, because <laughs> IKEA stuff's just painful. But, um, so if you're going to do it, probably just build it yourself. Yeah, <laughs> I, if I was having another go, I would, would have just built it myself. It would have been so much easier to just build a pantry rather than having to worry about the sizing of it all. But, um, oh well, looks good now. Like you can see there, it's all sort of tidied up. I'm going to cut a piece for across the top. And then, yeah, that'll all be painted up nice and white as well. And she'll be peaches. But, um, yes, Kiwi. Oh, get them anyway we're out of here we'll see you all tomorrow guys good morning guys um we're not gonna put the final coat on anything until after everything's built out just because obviously we're gonna get scuff marks all that sort of stuff so today i've brought in the washing machine and the toilet we're gonna measure all that up and we're going to start framing the bathroom we've just brought in the washing machine and the toilet cleaned up our space here so pretty much all we're gonna do here is we're just gonna measure up <clears throat> And see where everything's going to go we need to bring in the um shower pan <coughs> oh my god goodness me <clears throat> uh, so anyway yeah we need to bring in the shower pan um put it in place because obviously we've got two sections toilet shower so we're gonna have to cut the shower pan i'm gonna use some up top some down the bottom because it's it's a it's not too wide it's probably going to go to about there um but it is quite long 
Um, so which works in our favor because otherwise we're going to have to use another piece of material for up here but I think with the um, length of it we'll be able to use the whole thing <clears throat> or close to it and just dock it um, but anyway that's that um, we're going to get cracking on that and um, hopefully we can start um, boxing up our um, shower wet room bathroom bathroom something like that anyway Let's go. It's probably the most important cut we've made. The one that we can't stuff it up. The old balloon knots doing these ones. But um, anyway, she'll be eight. Go and double measuring before I make the cup. Five thirty. Ish. <laughs> Ish. Um, I thought we should name the bus. Ish. Ish. <laughs> Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Mm. So keep your hand on Wait. that. Right, I got this side. Is it heavy? Not anymore. <laughs> That's actually made it not a bad cut. It's quite smooth. Oh yeah. With the hand should be right. Breath. Don't even need to file that. <laughs> That's all good. Cool. Maybe a touch. No, not even. I'm going to see how it sits because I've got to take that other floor. Um, trim out yeah. for the width of it. Oh, this is true. But if we have that up in like so. Oh, that's the size of our shower. That's the size of the shower. It's no, heavy. do it the other way. Huh? So the cut's at the back. Yeah, but it'll be covered anyway. The nice part's at the front. And then that's how shatter. Now toilet, that's our toilet. Yeah, so that'll be alright, like so. A bit of that perspex straight down in there. Put the perspex down in there, up to in line with this. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just run um, some silicon straight across that join and then straight across the floor join. That'll be all good. Happy? Uh, yeah, I'll just see how that toilet sits. And that's plenty of room to have your feet. Yeah. Because they'll probably, my feet will still be hanging up to there. <laughs> it's a big toilet, eh? So. I want to sit on there. Oh gosh, here we go. Oh, I'm no. having a dummy sit. Oh god, oh god. Oh yeah, that's alright. The You'll throne, be... how do you yeah, feel? Yeah, no, I feel like a king on the throne. No, that's all right. <laughs> Don't break me lid. <laughs> no, I, hey, I'm holding myself. See, see how much pressure's in these wall squats. You actually, your knees are red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just poor blood flow. Too many bloody soft drinks. That's what the problem is. Uh, don't, don't put your weight on it. Maybe yeah. put the lid up a little bit so she can. She, well, don't fall in. Oh. You'll end up in China. Don't poo in me new toilet. Like a queen on the throne. Sakura, so, you can't poo on camera. Come on, that's gross. <laughs> okay, the kids have no shame. <laughs> right on. I'm putting that in, I hope you yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, so come across our first problem. I drilled a hole through the center there to find out what's going on down the bottom. And one of the main like C channel, I guess you'd call it, structure of the floor is like literally maybe 10 15 mil to my side of the hole um so <clears throat> pretty much like that's it's a pretty big hole i'd say it's probably like i don't know maybe three inch like it's quite a 
decent sized drain so um yeah long story short by the time we get from this down to through the floor we need to get it from that to about i don't know one and a half two centimeters for it to clear that c channel stuff down there so um there's a few things we can prop this up um a bit and then that will obviously limit um the height when we're standing in the shower so i'll probably be head height um the roof which will be a bit of a pain but we'll still be able to manage so that's one thing propping it up and then that'll give us probably two or three inches to work from that size down to that which as you can tell by my flustered chatter i got no idea about plumbing so anyway we're going to um uh, take this board, uh, the, the shower for, over to the local um, plumbing shop and see what they can do fitting wise to get us from that down to where we need to be. So we've just gotten back from Mitre 10 and we've bought all the plumbing stuff we hope that we need just to get it in the floor. Jeremy's never going to be a plumber. <laughs> I don't think what we've got is going to work. I'm not a believer. But I I've have faith. A, I've drilled a massive hole in the floor, so we've going. got a hole. Our problem is that um, that one of the main bars that beams underneath the bus runs right along here, so we can't make a big circular hole and then do all our plumbing underneath. We've got to sort of make one small enough and then get this hole smaller. If that makes sense. So we've got a few things that we're going to try, and then fingers crossed. If it doesn't work, we'll just make the frame and worry about it later. It's happening. It's yeah. coming together. Yeah, just sort of winging it, of course. It's the only way. But, um, yeah. Then I walk the line Then I go be a little time Any man who knows A story goes you know, people that have never watched this before are going to hear that. And go, Jay's is not bad. <laughs> any man, any man, any man, any man, any man. So, just finished um, doing most of the framing anyway for this thing. Um, hopefully, like should be right like we're not completely finished obviously i've got to put like the little stabilizers or whatever you want to call it in here and then across the back and the sides and that it'll look similar to that but i've got all all the main ones up and um that floor is nice and snug the floor for here is nice and snug so yeah we've just got a few little bits and pieces um and yeah but other than that at least we've got to start on it it's all about getting a start right you gotta start somewhere. That's right, you do. So anyway, there's there's a few little bits and pieces that we're like, oh, what do we do now? So got to figure out roof wise and all that what we're what our plan is and everything. But so far so good. We're happy with how it all is coming together. But um, anyway, that's all for today. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Toodaloo. Morning, y'all. Um, we're just going to finish off the framing of this little bathroom area this morning then i think that'll do us um uh, got a bit of other stuff i've got to do i've got some music stuff that i've got to um take care of and get organized and jilly's going to try and crack on some schoolwork for the next two days so um get that done by the weekend and um yeah so we're just going to finish this frame off anyway 
Um, just see how it all sits anyway. Um, COVID cancelled all my music stuff, so we can't really go paying for too many materials. We need some ply and all that to, um, to case all that framing and that that I've done. But, um, yeah, <laughs> you can't buy anything if you haven't got any coin. So I've just got to go and work again and then, um, then we'll be right to move on. So hopefully I can, um, get this COVID stuff sorted and we can get back out on the road working and, um, yeah get the finishing touches for the bus because we're starting to come along um it looks like we've got heaps to go and we do but we we do have all the um little bits and pieces for it we just need the timber is pretty much where we're at so um yeah happy days let's do this Alright guys, I've um I've got most of this um all in and done up. Um so here there's um there's four screws in the top there where you can drill back in from this way into there, so that'll be for that. I'll drill that way into this to hold that in, that'll anchor that. Same on that side, that'll anchor that um there. Um, the only ones I haven't done yet, I've just got to whack um, one here, one just above there, and that one in the bottom. Um, the the old car she's playing up at the moment, we've managed um, to get her in at the um, mechanics there, uh, in amongst all this COVID crap. So I've got to stop. So this is us for the week. Um, yeah, so that's where we're up to. We're pretty happy. Um, yeah, we, I don't even remember where we were at the start of this, but I've got a feeling the roof wasn't painted, none of that trim was in, um, the bunk wasn't um, done, these things weren't welded. So, oh, and of course, that wasn't there. So I feel as though we've we've gotten a bit done this week. So that's, um, oh, that's that's a roof. No, um, so pretty happy with that. Um, thanks heaps for watching. We really appreciate it. And... Um, all the positive vibes that we're um we're getting all the um all the comments and that we're loving that you're uh, enjoying what we're doing um we're going to cruise now i'll just find jilly and jed's here too say bye jetty oh there's zach see you zachy see you <laughs> see you jilly see ya we'll see you next week see you next week all right guys catching out